Hello and welcome back to Presentation Perfect. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a smooth six-point timeline in PowerPoint. The timeline is themed Innovation Through the Ages, but you can follow along with your own content and images. Before we begin, keep in mind that this tutorial uses the Morph Transition, which is available in PowerPoint 365 or versions 2019 and later. I'm going to start off by creating the title slide. I'm using the font Century Gothic in a red font color for this slide, but you can style this however you want. For the main title, I'm using Times New Roman in black. I'm also adding a thin line that I'll use in each of the timeline slides. Then, paste an image of your choice, and you're done. Insert a blank slide and start designing the timeline. I'm going to copy over the text box and line, and then adjust them for the first slide in the timeline. I'm using a shade of gray for the line and black for the text. For the dates, I'm picking a shade of gray. The font I'm picking is Times New Roman at size 54. Now I'm going to duplicate the text box and fill in the rest of my dates. In this timeline, there will be six dates in total. Each slide will display three dates at a time. Make sure everything is aligned and evenly distributed. Okay, so three dates are done. Now I'm going to add the remaining three outside the slide. Edit the dates as needed. Switch the color of the first date to something bold. Then increase the font size. This will be the focus date for this slide. Adjust its position like this. I'm using guidelines to make sure everything looks perfect for the tutorial. You can switch them on too to help with alignment. Now we're going to insert an image and crop it to shape. Then add the relevant content and adjust its position. Now duplicate the slide and work on the next date of the timeline. Hold shift and select all six dates. Then drag them to the left, taking the first date out of the slide and bringing the second one into focus. I'm going to select the first date and use the Format Painter tool to make the second date the same color and size. You can do this manually too. I'm going to use the same trick to format the first date to match the other five. Now right-click the image and select Change Picture. Swap out the text as well. I'm also going to extend the gray line we added earlier so that it touches either end of the slide. Duplicate the slide and repeat the process. I should mention that the dates don't have to be the same color like I'm doing here. You can manually change them to any other shade and the effect will still work. One more thing. Notice how on this slide, we now have two dates to the left that are positioned outside the slide. We don't need the leftmost one for the effect we're going for, so you can delete it. If you've gotten the hang of this, you can skip to the last slide and continue the tutorial from there.
Since this is the final slide, we're going to reduce the length of the line from the right like this. Make sure to hold shift as you select and drag so that you don't misalign the line. Now we're going to revisit each slide and position each object for the morph magic to take effect. I'm going to start by copying the line from the title slide onto the second slide. I'm going to position it outside the slide on the left. Now head back to the last slide and pay close attention to what I'm about to do. I'm going to copy the title text from slide seven and paste it to the left of the title text of slide six, positioning it outside the slide like this. Likewise, we're going to copy the title text from slide six and paste it to the right of the title text on slide five, positioning it just outside the slide like this. We're going to repeat this process for every slide. When we apply morph at the end, this is going to make the respective title of each slide fly in. Now we're going to do something similar with the image and body text. Select them both from this slide, copy them onto the next slide, and drag them to the left, outside of the slide. Next, copy the image and text from slide three, paste them onto slide four, and drag them outside the slide to the left. Repeat this process for every slide. Once we've reached the final slide, we're going to repeat the process in reverse, copy the image and text in the final slide, paste them onto the previous slide, and this time, drag them to the right until they're outside the slide. Then, copy the image and text from this slide, paste them onto the previous slide, which is slide five in this case, and repeat the process. Now for the final step, we're going to copy all six dates along with the focus text and image from the first timeline slide and paste them onto the title slide. Then drag them outside the slide to the right. Finally, we're going to select all the slides by holding shift and clicking the first and last slide. Then go to transitions and click morph. And there you have it a dynamic PowerPoint timeline perfect for your next presentation. If you like this video, check out other tutorials on this channel, and be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see next.